Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. It's our Halloween show, and man, do we have a fun show for you guys today. You heard me? I didn't have my mic up there. Hey, everybody. Ah, I'm going to get you. You totally ah. look like the guy you like Kiefer Sutherland in The Lost Boys. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to get you and I'm going to bite you. <laughs> Eileen Shapiro, I'm going to bite your nipples. No, she'd love that. <laughs> blood, I want blood. How much blood can you give me? <laughs> you, you can't love give it. me that much blood. I need lots of blood. Blood, red, hot, juicy, sweet, delicious. Blood. Give me your blood. I'll come to you tonight. <laughs> and I will bite on your neck yes. And I will drink your blood oh, Here we go <laughs> Alright everybody We want to welcome all you guys to the show in the chat room We got a great show for you today We're going to actually um, In one second we're going to bring on somebody Who's just going to come on and talk about a cool event Going on Saturday night in Times Square Real quick let's just say, say hi uh, Eileen Shapiro, Teresa Sabin Hub Reynolds, Angie Stevenson, Don Hinton, Lady Lake, Cindy Lady Lake. I think I saw uh, – who else is in there? Uh, I don't know. And if I missed you, I know there's a lot of people coming in now. Uh, we got a fun show for you guys today. We're going to have part of the cast of Clown Motel 1 and 2 coming on. And before that, we have Larry Bagby. If you guys are fr- fans of Hocus Pocus, he's from Hocus Pocus, which we have Billy Butcherson behind us from Hocus Pocus. Going to be a lot of fun. Um, before we do any of those things, though, we're going to bring on a special uh, special guest, Chuck Armstrong. So, Chuck, come on on. Come on, Chucky. Come on our show. <laughs> you know, I feel like grass, guys. I, I'm sorry. I, I should have worn my fangs. <laughs> well, we have so enough much. vampires around here, so fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> No more vampires. There's just enough blood to go around. I mean, Eileen Shapiro's got plenty of milk in those tankers. Oh, does she have a lot of blood? I don't know. You're tough. <laughs> so, you guys, this is Chuck Armstrong. Hey, Chuck Armstrong. Hey, nice to you actually, you guys. actually met him. He was at the September I, 11th event. I meet, I meet everybody, Jimmy. I just am old. I have no memory. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you guys, Chuck is the CEO of Wonderama TV. It's a television show. Oh, I know. Been who around he is, forever. Of course. Um, My daughter no, dated him. You know. No, not him. That was a no, different not CEO. Him. <laughs> My daughter dated uh, Sandy Becker. Oh, really? Yes, many years ago. Oh, cool. My daughter was very young, and Sandy was a little, a lot, lot older than she. <laughs> and I said to her, Leslie, you know, it's Sandy Becker. She's, oh, he's okay, but I'm not getting serious with him. So he went off and went out with one of the girls from her beauty pageant. One of the girls that in Florida that that was uh, a contestant. I think he married her and, and she got pregnant. I'm not sure. But anyway, wow. so, so no, he's not talking about a kids it. show. No, Sandy <laughs> no, but, Becker used to do that show. But but it's Pit. funny because Wonderama. I mean, Sandy Becker was the one that really established it, and then there yeah. was Sam Fox, and then Bob McAllister. But and he, now you. And now, well, I'm not the host. It's David Osmond. He's much better looking and a much better singer. Uh, but we're just so. Uh, Honored to, to have you guys talk about what we're doing on Halloween Eve in Times Square, the home of New Year's Eve. So tell I, everybody. I wish I were there. I really wish I were there. But you can be. All you have no. to do is it's virtual. Tip in. It's virtual. Oh, yeah, vir- it's no, just, I don't want to be virtual. Be I want to be live uh, yeah. around the globe yeah, in NSF uh, at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. That's East Coast time. Uh, and we're, we're actually trying to tell people this is a cool way to bring meaning to your Halloweening. There's uh, dozens of acts. Uh, we've got uh, amazing talent from Anime X coming, but the whole point, and, and IHOP's actually doing some scary face pancakes, but the whole point is to let people know that, hey, um, UNICEF is there. They're helping vaccinate the world, and we just want to celebrate all the people that get behind Trick or Treat for UNICEF, which has been around as long as Wonderama. It started in 1950. I, you got to love it. So tell everybody. So first of all, you guys, it's going to be in Times Square. I don't know what happened to my mic. It's going to be in Times Square. <laughs> too, too bad. You lose your uh, mic. You lose your voice. No, it's going to be in Times Square, you guys, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Tell everybody what to expect because it's going to be like 10 stories high. It's going to yeah, be so fun. We're That's calling it the biggest Halloween parade in history. 
And when we say big, we mean it because literally this parade will be 10 stories high. We're using the one Times Square billboard, which is where the iconic ball drops from. Uh, and we've invited grand marshals from around the country to join us virtually. Uh, and we picked 50 and they're going to be featured literally 10 stories high. Uh, and we've got cool acts coming. We've got Anime Zex I talked about earlier. We got Bootsy Collins, people dancing to his version of the Monster Mash. And uh, there's actually a, a gal named Mackenzie Brook who's going to be debuting a new single uh, to her 11 million uh, TikTok followers, as well as everybody we broadcast to. But you guys, you should be there at least. I mean, come on, you're already dressed up. <laughs> well, this is Sunday, right? Yeah, uh, Saturday Sunday night. Saturday this, night. Uh, if you think I'm, if you think I'm staying in this, if you think I'm staying in this until Saturday night, you're <laughs> nuts. <laughs> so wait, and tell people how do they actually go to watch the event? All right, so it's it's pretty easy. You can come to WonderamaTV.com or uh, any of the UNICEF sites around the globe for UNICEF USA or any of their partner sites will have a link, uh, and it's free. And it's literally an hour and a half of fun and excitement. And, and we're really blessed to be there. And Times Square is back and better than ever. Uh, and the folks at the Times Square Alliance have been amazing in helping us put this uh, out. And this is a great year uh, for us to relaunch Trick or Treat for UNICEF because, you know, now they had to go virtual. In the old days, they would give you the little box that you collect money in. Uh, and this is a way for people to know how they can get involved uh, in their hometown. Sounds like a lot of fun. Wish I were really in Times Square because I'm from New York, from Brooklyn, and I oh, miss New York and I love New Brooklyn. York. Yeah, well, she's a good, she's, you married a good woman. One. If she's from Brooklyn, she's a good woman. She yeah. married beneath herself. If uh, you're not uh, from well, Brooklyn, we where, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Oh, she Washington. married definitely beneath yeah, us. Yeah, so I root for all the no, wrong no, no. teams. No. So wait a sec. Look behind him, you guys. So Chuck's got how many Emmys do you have? Seven? Well, as you can tell now, they're giving to anybody, right? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, quite a few, but you know, the, the, the bottom line is it's all about trying to create content. Uh, we're all going to be dead at some point, so it'd be nice to do something that maybe would help people. Right. Uh, and so what I really like about Wonderama is it's the ability for us to allow folks to have that discovery engine that really wasn't out there in television and also to be hip, but not make mom and dad the foil for a joke. So uh, what we're really excited about with this is not only are people going to have fun, but it also gives them, you know, a little bit of something to think about this Halloween season uh, and why really none of us are safe until all of us are. I love it. So here's every, here's the lowdown, you guys. It's Wonderama TV. It's the biggest Halloween parade in history, October 30th, a uh, virtual event celebrating trick-or-treat for UNICEF. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You go to WonderamaTV.com. It'll be 10 stories tall in Times Square. Um, many people who've been on our show are actually performing. Arrow Rose, Animes X. April Rose Gabrielli. It's you know, hosted she's my cousin April Rose Gabrielli. It's hosted by David Osman, you guys, and co-hosted by Coco and Breezy Dotson. I think are they going to yep. be there? Um, they're all really big. David Osman, you guys, is a member of the you know illustrious. Everybody knows Osman family. He's he's a great great performer, um, and we want everybody to tune in because we're trying to get millions and millions of people tuning in to watch. This right. Parade. And, and can I do this before I go, guys? Yes. Uh, first time caller, long time listener. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> so you guys but I, I just want to say something what? everyone we've been cooped up we've been tortured we've been depressed now it's time to kick all those chains off of you go to this event either go on your on your virtually whatever, virtually, virtually on your phone or, or, you know, you what, or just go and go in person dress up and walk in the parade you can be an actor for an evening you can perform in the parade as a vampire or Frankenstein <laughs> or whatever you want. But I would suggest go. You deserve some fun. You've been through hell and back, folks. Go have a good time. And it's oh. WonderamaTV.com to get all the info. All right. And thank you, guys. It's an honor. I all right, Chuck. Oh, we'll pleasure, see you, we'll pleasure, see you, we'll see you, we'll see the next, you on the big and, screen. And the next right. time you, I'll, the I'll next, trade you the one of these for uh, No, Becker's no. The, the, yeah. ne <laughs> the, next, the next time you get an Enema Award, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Chuck. Thank you so much. And everybody, please support. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bye, also, Chuck. we got lots of people joining us in the chat room. What's up? B. Claudia is in the chat room. Don Hinton has joined us. Uh, Eileen is in the chat room. 
Um, Boomer Maze, I forgot Boomer Maze before is in the chat room. Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. So our next guest will be coming on soon. Wait. Hey, Eileen Shapiro, if I had a guitar now, I bet you'd be in love with me. Because I look like the weird rock stars that you like. Actually, I look like Adam Ant after facelift. <laughs> I look like a gay Vincent, gay or Vincent Price. A gay Vincent Price is good. No, no gay was intended. It's just that you have a fag face, <laughs> yeah. and it happened that way. Look you know, at those eyebrows, though. Like no, I vampire, look like a vampire. You're supposed to look like a vamp. I should have. Everybody look, liked it though. Well, wipe the eyebrows off. No, the oh, eye backpack John joined us too. Hey, backpack John. The eyebrows make you look evil and vicious like you really are but i'm not evil and yes vicious. you are we're showing your true personality they right? like love it right eileen he's evil and vicious they love it though they love it and they say we look great oh thank you b claudia said she said she she shared wonderama tv on facebook that's oh, awesome good for you b she's so you guys good. it's going to be a lot of fun they have like uh grand marshals that they picked from kids you know are going to be the grand marshals and they picked them from like every state and uh, it's going to be really a big thing. And Wonderama TV has been around forever. And they do all kinds of really fun yeah. things. And Eileen Shapiro was supposed to be in the parade. She was going to be the big floats. <laughs> but they were it's a kid show. But they were little kids. No, they were afraid <laughs> that she would knock down lampposts and, you know, break through oh. store windows if she turned to the right or the left too quickly. So her floats. They kicked her off the parade. So anyway, hang on, fix this guy. We gotta fix this Billy Butcherson. We'll take him down if he's gonna cover my name, you homo he's fruit. Not covering your name, but he <clears throat> fell down. There we go. That's my new nickname for him, homo him. fruit. Did you ever eat a homo fruit? <laughs> oh, Eileen says she's got to go watch uh, one of her kids play football. Have a great Halloween. You always run out of our show, Eileen. She came on to 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 to, to see Chuck. Right. Bye um, bye, Eileen. Eileen, we love you. We'll see you soon. Um, all right, so um, let's do a quick commercial since we, we might not be able to do it later. So, you guys, you can listen to the Jimmy Star Show, and we want to thank everybody. Last week's show got like four million, uh, four million something plays, so we appreciate it. You can hear us on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube, Google Podcasts, uh, Radio Public, TuneIn, Pandora, Amazon Prime, and SoundCloud. Who and was, who was on last week that we got four and a half million? Uh, Marcel and the whole oh, Marce gang. Oh, blind. That's good. So we're going to welcome now, you guys, our first guest of the day. We have four of them coming on. This Our first guest, is his name is Larry Bagby, and we're going to welcome on to the show right now. i got to put on glasses. Hey, what's up, Larry? What's How you doing? What's going on? How are you? We're terrific, and we don't normally look like this, but it's our Halloween show, and now the witch is coming to get you. Oh, goodness. I'm coming to get you, you little... <laughs> Teeny weeny, meeny me, <laughs> man. I heard that you have two inches, and I love two inches because I'm a very tight old lady. <laughs> That's very <laughs> sweet of you. Okay, so listen, call me. He's very familiar with witches. Call me. <laughs> Were you married to one? No. <laughs> well, no, go back. We, we can talk about that later. Yeah. Get rid of that witch. That witch wants your body. She wants to do you. What are we going to do? She's amazing. I don't mind it. Well, there you a, go. Ugly old bitch, but she's got a lot of teeth. So you have to watch out. <laughs> so, Larry, let me introduce you. Is she a biter? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, yeah. so, so, now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, everybody. Actor, country music singer, Yay! Uh, superstar. He's done all kinds Yay! of fabulous things. Larry Bagby, hello and welcome Yay! to the show. Oh, thank you guys. Love the enthusiasm. Yeah, well, we got to have fun. Well, welcome, welcome so to this is my crazy. cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Everybody, Hi, Ron. Everybody knows me. You don't have to introduce me. <laughs> Just go to Macy's bathroom, yeah. the men's room. <laughs> my phone number's all over the stall walls. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's how we met. <laughs> Yeah. If you want a good time, call Ron Russell and there's my phone number right next to the you get, door. You get like yeah. a 20% off uh, of Macy's. Right. Yeah. My name is right next to the glory hole. In the oh. <laughs> so we have a chat room filled with people. Please say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hello, people. So, so you guys listen up. So you, you, you know, Larry from some of his stuff, he's, he's actually in my favorite Halloween movie of all time. We Wait just in. watched it two nights ago. Um, so he plays ice, you guys in, uh, in Hocus Pocus Ernie, but like he goes by ice in Hocus That's Pocus right. and he's kind of like the bully guy in it. And uh, not kind of. He is the he is the he, he and Tobias uh, Jelinek are, are the, the bully guys. Are you the one guys. that stole the kid's sneakers? Yeah, he is. That's it. Yeah, 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. Give that freaking kid back his sneakers, you no good low life. What are you doing in a nice town like Halloween town, you pervert? Get out that's of our here. second that's our second favorite Halloween. You know, oh, family okay. movie is Halloween Town, so that's it. And I don't know if you can oh, see he's this. Oh, Hocus Pocus. What was it like working with Bette Midler? Yeah, it was it was very intimidating to be honest. I heard with she's you. tough. I heard she's tough. Well, she was she was good to you know the kids, but it's still you know you hear those stories and then you just don't want to tread over any you know. Don't look her in the eye, I guess, is what they say, right? No, uh, I, hate, I hate that Hollywood. So no, but th she was great. She really was. So great look best. look behind us. Do you see this? This is Billy Butcherson. Oh, nice. Yes, this, I do. I got it from my birthday, and we were actually at a party with Doug Jones two weeks ago. I saw I saw those pictures. I, I was just looking through the website. And, and he's thought, actually been on our show, too, many years uh, ago. Dougie's years the ago. best. Yeah, he's fabulous. Oh, no, there goes oh. the witch. It's it, falling. We, we have a three-way with that doll. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. So, so, uh, so I want to like give you some. We're going to talk a little bit about Hocus Pocus, but I want to uh, talk about some. Other I stuff. love Hocus Pocus. What's it talk about? They're filming again. Are you in the new one? You know, it doesn't look like we're going to be in the new one. I, I, I believe. I don't know if I should say this, but I believe Doug is a part of it. Um, I don't know if he if he mentioned that to you, but no, Doug has uh, to be because he was yeah, a main, a main, right? uh, he was one of her her, her ex lover, right? right. Well, <laughs> um, but but, but I, and I think Danny, you know, who played uh, 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 Thora Birch, I, I believe she's a part of it, and the three main witches. That's all we know at this point. Uh, well, I hope they bring you in, you guys. In. I, you. I see that you guys have been doing a lot of stuff at Comic Cons. I saw you guys are doing like a, a show. I think tomorrow night, you and Tobias and some and Doug yeah, maybe. Yeah, and, we're uh, doing an interview on uh, this uh, horror horror con or something. Uh, I think and that's then, just and fun. then but, and then we're going. Uh, we just got back from the uh, San Antonio, the the big Texas con, Comic Con, and that was a lot of fun. I and, think that uh, people like love you because you've been in so many cool things. And I want to like brag a little for you, first of all. Oh, thank you. So you guys, uh, not only was he in Hocus Pocus, which I'm sure like probably I people. I have to tell everybody, since you keep mentioning Hocus Pocus, if you have not seen it, see it. It's probably one of the best Halloween movies ever made. For families. Oh, awesome. For families. And it's a wonderful story. And Bette Midler is outrageous. And Sarah Jessica Parker is in it playing a witch. And Kathy Najimy. Who, who does something with her mouth that nobody else can. <laughs> and the story is fabulous. And the photography is beautiful. The color is beautiful. And it's so Halloween. It puts you in a total Halloween mood. And this no good dirty bag of crap Look at this. we have here. He oh, went, he's got a Sanderson's Sanderson's bed and breakfast shirt on. I love it. Says, well, he, children he, stay free. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's the guy that stole the sneakers off the kid on the bicycle. Yeah, what so kind when, of sneakers you got there, Ron? What are you wearing? What you got? I'm, I'm barefoot. So when you so wait a minute, I'll so cut your you, feet off. Wait, when you see him on the screen, stand up and yell, boo, boo. Yeah. He's no good. Until he's in yeah. the cage and then they're crying, which I love. That's right. <laughs> Hey, check check this out. I, I just got this, and I know you're not supposed to wear your own swag, but check this out. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, this is ice. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's great. What do you mean you're not supposed to wear your own swag? It's kind of, you know, it's like it's kind of tooting your own horn. I'm not Actually, trying to. Actually, no, I'm, I'm wearing a shirt that says Jimmy Starr on it because I used okay. to be a clothing designer, so you're good. Don't worry. You know what? So you, didn't, you, didn't get where, you didn't get where you got not having something, right? So now show it off. Uh, Flaunt it. You. you got it? Flaunt it. So, you guys, here's some of the stuff you guys have seen. Um, seen Larry in besides Hocus Pocus. Uh, first of all, I want to bring up Airborne because believe it or not, oh. Airborne is one of my favorite like 80s movies. I have it on DV, I have it on VHS, even. Oh my um, gosh. Well, that's and, about, uh, did it even come out on anything after VHS? <laughs> I, I don't know if it did or not. I always watch it on VHS, but it had and it has a lot of people in it who now are hugely famous. Uh, Jack Black, uh, Seth Green, Shane McDermott, Jacob Vargas. Uh, I thought it was a, it was like you guys. It's a rollerblading like movie about yeah. rollerblading. It was so uh, fun, man. I uh, I got to go to Cincinnati for a couple weeks and and you know just hang out with a bunch of cool kids. <laughs> you know those guys I, are all really I, fun people. Freaking like loved it. Then you guys, he's in the Academy Award uh, five time, got five Academy Award nominations. Walk the line. That's the chronicle of Johnny Cash's life with huge people: Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Robert Patrick, Reese Witherspoon. 
um, Jennifer Goodwin. I don't know. It has everybody in it. And, uh, and so that's a huge thing. I'm sure people probably know you the most, right? For, for Walk the Line, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Hocus Pocus. So those probably that's your, right. Yeah, your three. definitely. Yeah, those, you got those some are pretty some, good titles there, kiddo. Films. Thank you. Well, I feel very fortunate to have been a part of these films. You know, you know, you know how it is. You never know what, what you're doing. And uh, most of these projects, believe it or not, were all kind of like taking a chance. They were more independent. Even Walk the Line really didn't have the budget that it should have had. And um, uh, and then Hocus Pocus was up against a huge film like Jurassic Park when it opened and and it opened in July. You know what I mean? And Buffy was a weird movie that turned into this weird series that became like it, it's really about the fans because the industry didn't take to any of these movies right away. I love it because we've had Christy Swanson on. We had Christy Swanson oh, she's on the show. Uh, yeah, and, but uh, the, the buzz that I hear around the cl- the world actually is everybody was rooting for a three. Hocus two, Pocus two. Two, two. Hocus Pocus two. And yeah. when they when they announced they were filming it, the, the media went nuts. So that's a great big fan base. Huge yeah. fan base. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this thing turns out. I'm really surprised that Kenny Ortega is not directing the second Yes. Because um, he may, you know, he was a, a, a huge part of why that movie was so successful he because his choreography background his ability to work with kids and, and and bring out the best in all of us and he and the movie's like a, it is like a musical almost so i hope they captured the same essence and i i, I think uh david kirshner the producer he he knows what he's doing but uh, I, I hope he brings us all back at least for a cameo I have a question, though. Do you... I want to just say something. I wonder if Sarah Jessica Parker is going to be looked at as a witch and not as Carrie from Sex in the City. She was afraid of that, that mm. no matter where she goes or what she does, she will be Carrie. So now is it Carrie on a broom or is it the witch on I a broom? I think it'll be because she's so good in it. I, she's it's, my favorite uh, of the three sex, witches. It's sex on a stick. <laughs> sex on, I love that sex on a stick. That's for you, Ron. Oh, that's great. I have to use that. Thank you. Hey, that I got to so well, tell you, she, you know, in the movie, I had a huge crush on her. I mean, I'm, I'm 18 years old. She's beautiful. And I think I'd just seen her in like Honeymoon in Vegas. Of course, married to Matthew Broderick, Ferris Bueller. So we were all kind of so like stunned to be hanging out. And she was very nice. But, you know, we're up there in the cages and you can imagine the view that I had <laughs> and she's poking me with a stick, you know, like this doesn't I, get much better. I don't get paid. You had a good cleavage view because her That's doctors right. were hanging out. And that Do you have too. a Funko pop? Do you have a fun? Does ice have a Funko no, pop? Man, we, we would love we need to start to. a campaign to get you, 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 you guys go. a Funko you pop. You guys could be the ones to get it going. So Cause I have, a, I have the Sanderson sisters one and I have, I have all kinds of stuff. I have the black, I have all kinds of anything. Every year Spirit Halloween candle? comes out with something new. Yeah. Every time, every year they come out with something new and I get it. Awesome. Cause I'm just such a big fan. It's funny. Cause I had never seen the movie until I met Ron. We've been, we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary. Oh, happy and, anniversary, uh, guys. Yeah, well, I've, I'm in a lot of horror movies, but I've never played what I am now. I would love to play a vampire or something, you know, scary and spooky. And you know what they tell me? And this is very conceited and you're very narcissistic. But they tell me, you're too pretty. I you said, can't I'm, tell by now. I said, I'm, 80, <laughs> I'm 81 fucking years old. What's pretty about an 81-year-old man? Give me a break. Hey, Let man, me- you've aged well. You know what I mean? No, let me pl- let me play a vampire. Look how gory and ugly I look. I could be scary <laughs> in a movie. So you guys, wait, 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 my, my question comes: Do you want to play something outrageously scary in a movie? Yeah, I would love to. I've I've played a lot of like bullies and you know tough guys. I guess. No, no, no. no. Uh, I mean monster like. Like-, like. Yeah, yeah, I would love that spooky I, stuff. I, I don't know if I'd want to do like a series where you have to put makeup on. Like I know Doug. Doug is a saint because he's a great actor, but he's played all these roles where, you know, the makeup process is intense and it, and it wears on on the, on him. I, I know that. We've talked about it. But after a while, it becomes second nature. Part you, of it, you, sure. You do the make, like I was doing bro, uh, on the boards for many years impersonating uh, Jane Russell, believe it or not, in drag. I had a comedy act and I would have to put makeup on uh, whenever I worked. And after a while, it was like you sit there talking to people. You put the makeup, and you don't even, you don't even know you're doing it. Oh, guess you got to get it. But it is nice to wash it off. 
So wait, yeah. I want to go. Uh, so so uh, I want to brag a little bit more for you too. But I, I had a, now I had a question and I just like forgot it. I had a because you're card. old. I know I'm old. Oh, so where do you live? Where do you actually live? Okay, so Los Angeles is where I, I primarily grew up. I grew up in Thousand Oaks, California. Oh, there I love go. Thousand Oaks. It's I live great. in Simi yeah. Valley. Oh, okay, I I just was living there recently, and uh, unfortunately, we lost my dad in October to COVID. Oh, I'm so, sorry um, to hear that. Sorry that was that. the scariest thing that's happened to me in my life. Um, and so we're trying to help my mom out. They were married, you know, over 50 years, and good for them. But be- it's best tough. friends, you know. So now, wait, hang on. You said your dad died from COVID? No. Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, that's can you terrible. It? Did he, he have? Was, did he have an illness? He had an underlying uh, cancer thing he was dealing oh, with. That's uh, what seems to be doing it. And then, and the the way that you know, yeah, it was his immune system was definitely not in, exactly. in great shape. So once he caught had it, he had the shots. No, not yet. There wasn't that wasn't available oh, before shots. Yeah, so that was back in October last year. So this we just had his year anniversary, and what was kind of cool about even though it was it was it was tough anyway. I, I should at least answer the question. I'm just moved back to uh, St. George, Utah um, to be with my mom and we're selling the house there. And uh, right now we're up in uh, the Provo Orem you uh-huh. know, near, near Salt Lake Park City. Um, and uh, and then I'm just going to see how everything goes. And she's she's close to all my other siblings and the grandkids are all up here. So it'll be great. And then I can go back to LA or, or I'm considering Nashville. Oh, Nashville's fun too. What what was your, was your family Mormons? Yes. Grew up Mormon. Yep. Yeah, that's right. I actually even served a mission, uh, um, back in when I was just after Hocus Pocus, I went to Argentina for two years, which. Oh, wow. And now I know why you're shy when I do my research. (laughs) Hey, I'm I'm hanging in there, man. No, you no, sh- you're doing great. You shun down, and I thought there was something peculiar about it because you'll look like a wild son of a bitch. Uh, well, and- I've got, hey, believe me, I've got that that side to me. You know, we're all so I want to say we're all Paul, human beings. I'm going to put you on a. I produce a lot of films, and now that we know you, I'm going to put you uh, on a list of people that we could like maybe do stuff with. And I'd like and to when work you, with. And him. when you come back yeah. to L.A., when you you know, I'm also a publicist. I work with a lot of famous people and so we get invited to a lot of red carpet stuff so i'm always like looking for people so to fun. invite so so we'd Thank love you. to have you come to that stuff yeah, so let me back, come back to la what the hell are you gonna do in utah <laughs> so you guys i'm gonna brag a little have bit more kids. real quick so yeah there you go besides walk the line you guys okay he was in forever strong with sean ferris gary cole sean Astin, penn badgley neil mcdonough and ariel cabell who she's been on our show that some of the tv great. shows you guys have seen him in mr belvedere 30 something saved by the bell the new class the wonder years uh, getting by, married with children, a bunch of episodes of Bumpy the Vampire, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Jag, CSI, Malcolm in the Middle, ER, Ray Donovan, Nine One One, Dwight in Shining Armor. He has a bunch of other films too, but I you better uh, get back to LA, all, buddy, because I wanted to be able to talk about. So not only you guys is he well, you a, have some a working, cool actor, you have some working resume. Come home, come you to know, LA and go back to work with that resume. Start- they'll hire you any minute. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, when you start, when you're you know twelve years old, that that's just time in the business, man. I, you know, I'm 47 now, so I've been doing it a long time. And how I, big are you actually? It. How big are you actually? Like you're a bully and everything, but like on screen, everybody looks different. Like, like we met Stephen Lang, and he's like five foot five or something. You yeah, know? So I'm, I'm was pretty five, big. Eight, five, nine, ten. I'm six, uh, just a, a, about six two, and I'm I'm, I'm weighing in at about two forty. Oh yeah, so you are. So you yeah, actually I'm are a big, a big dude. I'm a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You wouldn't want to mess with me in a bar just based on my weight. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mess with anybody anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mess with people. I would just shoot them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ron always plays a mobster or a. I'm police. always a gangster. In That's every awesome, movie. man. You got. Or to... I play a priest or a minister. Ooh. Figure that one out. How Wait. they how the producers see me as a minister or as a Brooklyn mafia killer. It, I don't get it. it. Works. I never, under, but I don't understand it. They're so opposite. Yeah. Well, don't you ever find it, that when they give it, you a role, you absolutely. say, "Why did they think of you?" Yep, that's happened. I played the, you know, I played a nice guy than the guy next door, but then I play a killer, you know, before. So. Yeah, I what? like love it. But it's how, how they it's see a fine it. line, though, right? The the yep. comedy and drama is kind of yep. the yep. walks the so, line. 
So here, here's uh, uh, actually. So I, I want to tell. So you're a country music singer, and you're actually really good. You're you're uh, you're really really good. And I know a lot. I'm a, I, I, I got named my partner and I, Eileen Shapiro. We got named the best music publicist in the United States. So we hear people all day long. Oh, excuse you're really, me. You're talk really about, talk about rubbing your back. You're, oh well, you're really good. And so what? How, how did you get into the whole like? You know, I, I now I'm going to start singing country music. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll try to make this brief. Uh, do you guys have about 40 minutes? No. <laughs> <laughs> but we're uh, going to play a song in a minute. Okay, so, so in a nutshell, when when I did the movie Walk the Line, yep. it Johnny was kind Cash of, movie. it was perfect. It was a perfect transition because I didn't really grow up listening to country music. I didn't, I knew a little bit of Johnny Cash, but I was, I was a big Elvis fan. I knew all about Sun Studios. I loved all that rockabilly. And I grew up really on the Beatles. That's what my dad loved. And he played music. And so we kind of, we kind of grew up. And then I'm, you know, I was in Los Angeles. So, you know, hip hop and boys to men and, you know, all that, all stuff. that music. Right. Uh, so I, I booked the movie, walk the line and I, I had to learn all these Johnny cash songs and I really fell in love with his music. And then all these actors or they were mostly musicians that could act on that film. So I, I kind of caught the bug because they all had like record deals, you know, Tyler Hilton, Way, Waylon uh, uh, Payne, who played Jerry Lee, and they brought in all these great musicians. So when I got back from doing Walk the Line, I was asked to come and audition for Nashville Star, which was like the American yeah. Idol. We had and, a bunch of people from that show on our oh, show. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. So I, I ended up randomly, uh, like I, I went to the audition in LA at Saddle Ranch at Universal, right? And I did, I sang Country Roads, which was kind of the only country song I th think I could sing at the time. And um, and I got, and somehow ended up in the top 50 in Nashville. And two weeks after that, I ended up doing a voiceover uh, for, a, for a show on Cold Case, yep. uh, where it was about a country singer. It was all Tim McGraw's music, but there was one song that I sang that was written by this Mike Stenson. And people loved it. And so my voice and country music, it really connected. And I, and, and so I kind of started leaning in that direction. I love it. I love and it. I kind of, my, you know, I've kind of got that, that like I've been smoking and drinking my whole life voice. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's kind of an outlaw sounding voice. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's pretty, it's, but it's, it's, it's so, clear. So do me a favor, say hi to everybody in the chat room. Cause everybody like loves you. So say hi. Oh, to everybody hi in the everybody. Room. I love and, you guys uh, too. Thank they're you. They're like for... putting up all kinds of links and stuff. So what we're awesome. gonna do, you guys? So um, I actually we have to play. Where do I belong? Because they wouldn't let me play the videos from another TV show. No problem, man. Thank um, you for for playing anything. So what I we're gonna do it. is I want you to actually uh, announce, uh, like announce it, like say who you are, and this is your video. And then Roxy, she's our engineer in Florida. She's gonna play it for us, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this song was uh, actually written by a dear friend of mine who was uh, the bass player for Eddie Money and... Oh, I Air met him. Air oh, did you? He's yeah. great. He's like a comedian, too, isn't he? Yeah. Um, Air and he also played with Air Supply for... And they were on them. our show. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> anyway, small world. Don, Don lives in Westlake Village, California, where I, right, where I grew up. And my dad met him because my dad was an insurance salesman. And Don had a studio, and he said can you help my son? And Don said, what does your son do? <laughs> and he said, he's a singer actor. And I went in and Don and I started working together. And this was one of the, the uh, songs we collaborated on and put a video together. It's not released officially, but the, you, can, you can go to my website to, to check out all the other music. There you go. Tell everybody what your website is real quick. Uh, it's just my name, Larry Bagby.com, B-A-G-B-Y. All and right. my Instagram's the same, Twitter, Larry Bagby. All right, perfect. So go ahead, Jimmy, Roxy. Oh. Don't, don't we have a friend called Larry Bagley? Bagby. The guy who did the uh, exercising commercial with the bicycle. No, uh, Larry, it's not Bagby, it's something else. No, it's Bag close to that, though. Bagley. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is Bagby. So, Roxy, let's Jimmy. hit it, everybody. This is Larry Bagby. Where do I belong? Thank you. Of LA, people passing by, I 
Got nothing to say, just these crazy thoughts running through my mind. Now, like I've been trying to keep to myself. Yes, it's time to realize that I need a little help. I'm getting so tired from running blind. Blame it on a woman on my ADD But this time I'm gonna point the finger at me So where do I belong? With my dream of making music And singing my country song Sometimes I feel strong So where do I belong? Just another tough luck story Or an overnight success Which road I'm gonna take Is anybody's guess Here I go again Caught up in the blue Searching for the peace that sets a man free. One of these days I'll find it's all up to me. So where do I belong? With my dream of making music and singing my country song. Sometimes I feel so weak Sometimes I feel strong to say <laughs> no larry larry, larry attention oh, i'm sorry i was listening to something else my bad attention <laughs> attention i have two things to say you got better looking with age oh thank and you. you have a good voice and i love the song it's very good you actually can sing thank and you, you very really, much and you really got much more when you were a kid you weren't that good looking now you're really handsome well, as an older you. guy no I you've come into that. your own musically and visually well, thank you so much. I think so, too. I want to tell everybody. So, you guys, that, that that video was done in 2012, you guys. So, that's like a long time ago. He has new music out, uh, but he doesn't have a music video for it. And I've the got videos one, Yeah, coming out uh, with uh, a director friend of mine that, that directed um, Forever Strong. There you go. Yeah, and we'll we'll play that, too. When it comes out, also, do me a favor. Say hi to B. Claudia. She's in Germany. B. Claudia, what is going on? Have she a brought for me, huh? She says she's going to take, uh, she's going to send, she, she works with a bunch of radio stations, and so she's going to send the song uh, and see if they, she can get the country radio stations to play it. Thank you, B. Claudia. I see you right here. I like your hair, too. 
Yeah, she's fabulous. Um, you gotta like love it. So, so country music. So, what are some of the other? Because like you, you would give me two or three other songs, and and how do people hear those songs? Um, you know, I'm on uh, all the music platforms: uh, Apple Music, uh, Spotify. Um, you can go to my website, and there's there's ways to. You can go on YouTube to listen. But um, I just released um, a compilation disc of kind of all of my favorites and some of uh, the fans' favorite songs. There's uh, 18 tracks on it, oh, wow. and it kind of co- kind of covers, you know, the since I I began doing the music thing around around the time Walk the Line came out is when I released my first uh, independent album. So. I like love it. I think it's fabulous. And you know something? I don't like your beard. Get your beard off. You're too. Good oh, you think so? I like yeah. the beard. No, I don't. He's not. I saw him in the video. He's handsome without the well, beard. Thank you. Beard, yeah, you know, I usually grow the beard just to define a jawline. No, no beard. No, no beard. Clean <laughs> to define shaver. the jawline. No, I think it looks good. It doesn't no, get lost, no. you know. Well, that's thank good. you. That's I'm a be- I've got a beard. Jimmy too, has though. a beard. I like him on the video, clean shave, and you could see how good looking he is. With the beard, he looks like a wolf man. You know? Yeah, you know, maybe a uh, Jack. Uh, what's wolf his man name? Jack. Wolf man yeah. Jack. Oh, you do look Are, a little bit like Wolf Van Jack, actually. Or, uh, so let's do let's do some hypotheticals. Okay. Uh, so, because you've already worked with a lot of really cool people, like if you could, uh, like a male and female that you haven't had an opportunity to work with, who would you like to work with? And if you could have ever been in any movie in history, what movie would have you would like to have been in? Okay, uh, female actors. I was just talking to my mom about this, so it must be real. Uh, Sarah uh, um, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's the best looking woman I've ever seen in my life. I she grew up in my house. She's my daughter, Deirdre's friend since uh, kindergarten. And I watched her grow. And I always tell everybody, everything on Angie is real. Her boobs, her lips, her she's butt. She's gorgeous. Like nothing she's just, fake. It's a, it's a God's perfect woman. And she's, wait, wait. And she's as good as she looks Didn't inside. Her in, She's kind, loving. And I, I love Angie. I Did tell her I love it? her too. Did you ever no, see the movie Hackers? Uh, no, was she in that one? Yes, yeah, so that's like one of her first big movies. It's my favorite of all her I'll movies. I'll have to go back. And, uh, it's, and she's got super short hair, and she's super smoking gorgeous in it. And it's oh. about computer hackers. It's a really good film. Everybody should watch it. It's an 80s film, but it's really good. Um, okay, yeah. so that's the woman. That's the man. woman. Um, you know, probably it would have to be, maybe be Harrison Ford. Oh, that's um, a good one. And I probably the role that I would have lo- loved to have played, I think, is is uh, Indiana Jones, something there like that. There you go. Nobody's honest. ever picked that. That's a good one. Harrison Thank Ford's you. a nice guy. We were in New York City. My daughter was 10 years old. They were shooting. And they were shooting in front of a pet store. And all the kids were looking at the dogs in the window. And some crew came by and said, get out of here. Get these kids out of here. And I went over to Harrison. I said, Harrison, this is your movie. Don't let them talk to the kids that way. They want to see the puppies. And he looked at me. He said, you're right. And he went over and he yelled at that crew guy. And he said, let the kids look at the dogs. We can shoot in five minutes. Wow. So Harrison Ford is a cool guy in my book. Good. So I picked some good ones then. Yeah, you picked good ones. And nobody's two, two really I, good I'm just ones. so happy that you didn't pick. Who's the one that everybody picks? That we, Meryl Streep. Is Meryl Streep. Everybody Street, always picks Meryl Streep. And I'm like, no, come on. I mean, she's not the best actress. She's one of the best actresses. But she's not Betty Davis that they all carry on about. Anyway, you know one of the one of my favorite uh, comedic lines I heard uh, it was I think it was d- during the Emmys or it may have been the Oscars, but um, some of the SNL girls got up and they said uh, Meryl Streep's even good in the flu. <laughs> 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 Doesn't matter what she's doing; she's good when she's sick. <laughs> Actually, B. Claudia and and Diane and everybody says too they they love the beard. Dawn loves the beard. Everybody lo- like a lot of people love the beard. Of oh, course, the yeah. beard is fashionable, and everybody and their mother's got a beard. You know, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so sick of looking at beards. My mom and, hasn't grown a beard. Not well, that they she, will. Not <laughs> one she'd be happy to well, talk about. Wait, wait, till Vogue, wait till Vogue magazine has models with beards. Yeah, Every, good point. All the women will. You know, they'll overdo the, the testosterone to grow beards. And that's when I'll go back to no beard. I will never have a beard. I'm clean shaven because, you know. You got what it takes. Show it off. I have a question then. So when you did Forever Strong, was Sean Ferris cool? Like I've always, he's one person I would like to get on the show. I, I'm a big fan of like his movies. Yeah, he uh, was great. He was great, man. We enjoyed working with that whole crew. I, I, I've really enjoyed, um, 
I've been very impressed with Penn Badgley's career. I yes, I, I've been I've been watching that you and that's incredible. It's, it's so intense. Um, but he's he's a class act. And Neil, uh, how do you say his last name? McDonough. Uh, oh, uh, Neil McDonough. Uh, hang on, I wrote it down. I always yeah, forget. Yeah, I re- great. He's Mc- a he was one, Dono. Uh, yeah, he was great. And also, um, because I, I was one of the coaches, so I got to work close with Gary Carr. Um, yes. Uh, uh, it's a good movie, he, though. It's. A, I mean, one thing I have to say is about the movies that you have. They're really like, like a lot of the movies, like are my kind of movies that, that I actually just happen to like a lot. Like I, I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if that Airborne was like a hit or not, but I like love that movie. I've seen it like fifty times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun, right? It's a good, it's a good, unique movie about. Uh, I don't know that there's any other rolling rollerblading movies, you know. So um, then, also, did you guys ever see Saints and Soldiers? No, I didn't. That's another film that I think you would enjoy. I don't know if you guys are in, if you're into the war films, but it it takes place in uh, world, it's World War II uh, during the Battle of the Bulge. But the director that did Forever Strong, I worked with him first on Saints and Soldiers, and it's a really good film. It, it won uh, or got nominated for Spirit Awards. And I like love so it. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy that too. So everybody, listen. You got to follow Larry. So it's LarryBagby.com, right? Yes, that's correct. Yes. LarryBagby.com, you guys. Definitely, if you anybody in the world who has not seen Hocus Pocus, it'll probably be on five times between now and Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, just uh, it's free, on almost go to every Freeform, day. Go Freeform, Freeform or Disney Plus every day. Um, and you get an added bonus because Bette Midler sings, I put a spell on you. I cast a spell on you. I put a, spell on, you. I put a spell on you, and it's a fabulous number the way she does it. So good, yeah. And it really is. It's if you haven't seen, it, especially if you have kids, it's probably the best family Halloween movie ever. And the next one after that is Halloween Town with Debbie Reynolds. And uh, but everybody should really see it. Also, see all these things. Support his music. He's an indie artist, so indie artists always need support. He doesn't have a label paying him to do stuff. So so support his music. Download his music. Follow him on Instagram. Also, Larry Bagby. That's how I met him. Uh, he's super nice. I, I I basically watched Hocus Pocus and I I looked up everybody and like went on Instagram and followed everybody. And, That's so uh, cool, man. I love I love Instagram and social media for that because we're able to communicate direct and it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. We're I like love trying it. to find who the rep is and where they're at. It's like yeah, I hate send that. Them a message. The <laughs> only one or two. The only one. And most people come on because we 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 get so many downloads and stuff and and uh, and we've. You know, we got nominated for an Emmy. I mean, we're like we've been like up there, even though our even though our show is extremely wild and fun. In the in the beginning, we would have to uh, seduce our guests practically. You know, (laughs) give him give him a cookie to come on. Now they're calling us, so it's the other way around. Now we have very important famous people calling Jimmy, saying, "Hey, listen, you know, I'd like to come on." CBS calls us all the time, wants us to put people on and stuff. So it's fun. So we're not a traditional show. And we have somebody that was interested in doing a reality show, and I talked Jimmy out of it because I felt at my age I couldn't do a reality show. Too much work. They're always in your house and following. He's eighty-one. He doesn't look like it because you saw our Instagram picture. He doesn't look like it. He looks fabulous. But physically, it's difficult, and I, I really can't work. 16 hours a day like I used to when I was young. Yeah. So we turned that down. But we're doing well. And so yeah. are you. And Thank you have to you. come back to L.A. so we could see you in more movies. Let's Absolutely. do it. We'll go hang out at some parties. We'll hang out. I'll get you. Absolutely. Uh, well, you, you, probably, you don't need me to get you invited. But if you don't know about them, I can get you invited. And uh, awesome. we do go to a lot of fun Oscar parties and stuff. So it'll be fun. And we'll stay in touch. We've got each other's contact. And now we have each other's Instagram. But we want to thank you for coming on the show. Yep. Everybody, please support Larry and all he's doing. Follow thank him you. in social media. And definitely, you got to see Hocus Pocus because it's, it's such a great movie. And I really uh, and I sincerely hope that you don't go around stealing sneakers. Uh, well, <laughs> that's that's the dark side of me that I will, I'll talk to you about later. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sneaker stealer. Yeah. Um, hey, I did want to add. Uh, I, early on, I when I got on Facebook and we built, we were building on the wrong um, on the wrong platform as far as uh, once they hit five thousand with your personal page. No, but you can't accept anybody else. So right. I, I just want to mention, if you want to follow me on Facebook, uh, so I don't have to not add you, which I want to, it's just go to Larry Bagby Music on Facebook. And oh, you can follow I'll do that too. That way, because otherwise people think, oh, I sent him a request and he didn't respond. I'm like, I just don't know how to do it. Well, <laughs> so you guys go to Larry don't, Bagby Music don't, on wait, Facebook. Don't, don't you review your Facebook people? 
the ones that no longer are with you, get rid of. No, get I know it's weird. What's one. weird though is I literally do, I go through and I'm like, I know them, I know them because I've just been. I, a lot of them are just people over the years, you know, that have friends or family well, friends. You know what? I went through mine and three dead people, good friends that were mine that were dead. I never <laughs> removed them, and they were. Oh, there. there's three. Yeah, three new slots. So that, okay, I'll I'll go through and find the dead. So, people. so you guys follow Larry Bagby <laughs> music, and you can also follow the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell because we've got like thirty something thousand fans or whatever on the page i guess friends fans and friends so join it but larry we want to thank you for coming on the show thank we, you guys we support you guys all you do we wonderful. had a great time and we'll stay in touch and if you need anything let us know and uh and we'll bring you back if you got something coming out let me know and we'll bring you back i and have it. a have a fun halloween oh yeah have a fun you halloween. too you guys have a great halloween and go, and go get mom and take mom back to LA so she could party a little. <laughs> okay. And tell mom, tell mom we said hello. Yep. I'll make sure she wears a beard next time. There well, you go. definitely. <laughs> so this way people will say you look alike. That's right. All right. Just like your mother. Thanks a lot, Larry. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Hey, Larry. hey everybody. Wasn't that bye awesome? Now. Absolutely. Bye bye. All, All right. right, chat room. You guys loved him. Thanks. Now we're going to bring on our next guest. We're going to go rocking and rolling through here. Uh, our next guest. I don't know. If, I don't think we've actually ever had Johnny Parati on the show before. Uh, but let's bring him on. Is he there, Roxy? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> My God, look oh, at you. Oh, he, he looks like a good one. <laughs> he looks nice and plump. <laughs> he looks delicious. I could cook him. I could have a feast. 30 or 40 people to dine on him. <laughs> Oh, what is his name, this person that comes into my castle? Johnny Parotti. Oh, Johnny Parotti. <laughs> is it Parotti or Parotti? It's Parotti. He's right. It's they Parotti. just, you know, when, and when they Italian, came over here, they change everything, of course. And so. in Italian, yeah, Parotti <coughs> means broken wheel in Italian, una Parotti. Oh, I didn't know that. Broken so, wheel. So now, everybody, we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, superstar oh. Johnny Parotti. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what the type, show. What type blood thanks, are thanks. what type blood are Joe? <laughs> Naples. What are Napoli. You? Napoli. No blood, blood, baby. I'm interested in your blood. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you Gravy. have blood? Do you Gravy. have pasta sauce? Pasta sauce. <laughs> Do you have blood? <laughs> so it's I got so some funny. blood. There you go. So <laughs> I see you in a movie and you are a clown called Hammy. I like a ham. Do you taste like a ham? <laughs> oh. We can fuck. Don't out, be shy with me. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you over. I will. Talk so hang to on. You. Okay. Will... No, don't <laughs> shut up, Maricon. Mariconetta, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny, we got a show. So you guys, we know Johnny. He's not a guest coming. Johnny, He's never been Johnny. on the show, but we actually know him. Uh, we were just with him on Saturday night, so he knows Ron and he knows I. We have a chat room full of people. Say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, Diane Rapetto's in there. Make sure you say hi to Diane because she she joined us for our last guest. A lot of people joined us. Artist hey. Miss Kim, uh, Boomer Maze, everybody joined us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys, we met Johnny originally at the first screening of the first Clown Motel. He was um, disgusting in it. He was he's he's the funniest, Ugh. greatest character ever in it. He's, he's really... a perverted clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. Did you ever see a perverted <coughs> clown? You got to see him as Hammy. He was a riot. I love. He's my favorite clown, by the way, in uh, Clown Motel One. Uh, and, yes. Oh, he's in two, too. He's in two also. But you're better in one. Yeah. You get to, like, well, do they gave him disgusting a, things. They gave him a dirty role. Then they killed it. They made him out to be a clean clown in two. Are you going to be in three? Uh, yeah, as far as I know. Yeah, I am too. General Milan is coming back to kill the clowns. Yay. <laughs> so, Johnny, besides being an actor, you guys, he's the founder of Gra Gravehouse Productions. He does a lot of paranormal stuff, um, which maybe you can tell us a little bit about for people. Because, you know, we did a, we have our own paranormal comic that we actually did. Yeah. Um, he's been oh, featured nice. on the Travel Channel shows, My Paranormal Nightmare, Paranormal Crossroads Live, and Ghost Detectives. And when I first, uh, one of the first times I met him, when they did the screening at that big house that everybody was staying in the house or whatever, you were telling me about your paranormal stuff. So tell me, tell us a little bit about it just so people know a little bit about it, that you're not just an actor. Yeah. Um, I actually started out doing paranormal. That's kind of how I got into acting, but um, I was on a team in Buffalo, New York called paranormal crossroads live. Uh, we had a live interactive show where we basically would just carry cameras around and you'd go right with us live. There was no editing, 
know anything. You saw it just as we saw it. Usually better than we saw it because I couldn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like freaking like love it. And you're still doing the paranormal stuff. Yeah, now that I've moved out to Vegas, I'm trying to, you know, revamp it on my own, but it's uh, taking me a little bit longer. It's a little harder to get into places out here. Absolutely. What made you move to Vegas? Uh, sick of the cold weather and sick yeah, of New LA York. is where you should be, where the work is. Yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> no, there's other parts of L.A. out where it's not so expensive. We live in Palm Springs. I mean, that's too yeah. far. But you could live in other parts of town outside of L.A. Where it's right not... now, though, L.A. is, I mean, Las Vegas is like where everybody's starting to go. Like a lot of stuff getting done in Las Vegas now. The Mahal yeah. Brothers shoot a lot of stuff there. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot more movies here. And uh, the cost of living, I mean, it's pretty cheap compared to New York. And like my apartment is probably the same price I would have had in New York, except for I have 10 more amenities here than I would ever have there. Yeah, you got to like love it. And the weather's good because I, I yeah. we don't like the cold weather either. No, it has oh. the same weather as Palm Springs, hot as hell <laughs> in the summer. Yeah. Well, I don't what like it What are you doing either. about that cough? You, we talked about it. You feeling any oh. better? No, not at all. I'm, I just had a cough drop before I came on this, but it's not open. But don't, what did the doctor say? A lung infection should be gone by now. They said I had pneumonia and it's been like over a month and a half. Oh, you didn't tell me you had pneumonia. Yeah, well, I don't think they know if I have pneumonia. They don't. They don't seem to be uh, too competent out here when it comes to medical. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's not good. Ron no. says that too. Though. <laughs> that's freaking like funny. So, so you guys, Johnny, well, I hope you feel better really <laughs> soon. So, you guys, Johnny is in Clown Motel One and Clown Motel Two. He's also in the upcoming Compatible, which Ron and I have a little thing in that one too. Um, it was compatible, the one that we were doing in the bed. bed yeah, it that's be gotta fun. be a riot. I can't wait to see compatible. And then I, I went on your IMDb. Like, you're gonna be in the new clowny movie, it looks like. But then there's something, I'm and I clowny. don't know. I'm in clowny also. I don't know what it is, but what's pig squeals and cornmeal? Well, I don't really have too much information on it either. But that was a <laughs> that was scoops and mischief. Uh, I guess they were working on a creating a movie, and they asked me to play that role. But that's, oh, that's funny. Maybe they that's did really that because, all I know. Maybe they did that because you were hammy in Clown Motel, which everybody, if you haven't seen the first Clown Motel, you have to see it. What I'm going to actually, we're going to play the trailer for it. Are you in the trailer for the first Clown Motel? Uh, depending on which one it is, I think I am. So what we're <laughs> going to do is we're going to play it for everybody to see it since you, because you literally, you stole the show. You stole the whole movie from me. I thought you were so amazing in it. Well, and, of course, me with my perverted mind, I loved it. You know, I and mean, we're not telling you guys what he does. I love you anything, watch the movie. I love to anything see it. that's off color and risque. You know why? Because we think it, but nobody's yep. got the balls to do it. Hammy did it and made us all laugh because we laughed at what we thought. That's fucking hilarious. If you understand what I'm saying. So also, you guys can follow Johnny on Instagram. He's at Johnny <laughs> underscore Perotti, P E R O T T I underscore official. Um, he's, he's a lot of times only there for like two or three days a month because he always gets banned <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram. But like when you, but he's really cool when you catch him on and if you didn't, get I just got let off. out. I got let out of Facebook jail two days ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll be back. Which I think is so hilarious. So You'll what we're going to do, Roxy, you got the clown motel, uh, trailer, right? So Johnny, you, how about you introduce it? You introduce the trailer. Roxy's going to play it, and then we'll come back and talk. Yes. All trailer right. one, Roxy trailer one. So here is the Clown Motel trailer. I think I'm in this one. Uh, so enjoy. <laughs> What's going on up there? What in the hell? Look at that cemetery, bro. What the hell is a cemetery doing out here all the way in the middle of nowhere, though? We've been driving around in circles for hours. We're just trying to find a way back to the main highway. There's one room. I say we get the key and uh, check in. What's up with the ketchup? You're bleeding. I just I need to leave now. You think I did this? Whether or not there are supernatural things going on here, I am going to get this on film. Cemetery where lost souls waiting to be released. Where do they keep coming from?
Nope, <laughs> Abby was not in that one. Just yeah, a little missed, bit. Not the, not the main missed, scene. Artist Miss Kim says Johnny and I drive the RV in Clown Motel too. Well, I rode shotgun. That was fun. So she's in there. It's a fun show. You guys, this is really a fun movie. Um, Tony Moran, he's the original. Michael Myers, uh, Ari, uh, Ari Lehman is the original. Jason and uh, Martin, and Martin, Martin Clubba is the um, little person who's in all the like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um, so it's a really fun cast. Um, you really have to see it if you see it for nothing else but to go see it for Hammy. Which and is... go see it because I'm in it. No, you're not in the first one. Oh, first one. No. <laughs> <laughs> second one. Second one. Uh, so Kim, look. Kim, who just who just wrote her little thing there. Uh huh. Um, it's her birthday today. Oh, so happy birthday! Her happy to birthday you. to Kim. Happy I told birthday, her I was going to do the show naked, but I decided to put a shirt on at least. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kim, happy birthday, everybody. <coughs> That's super nice. Kim is super fabulous. We love her. She's in the chat room every week. She's really fun. And oh uh, yeah, I think I did her on, on Facebook. Didn't I wish you happy birthday on Facebook this morning? Probably I, I did. I think I did. You gotta like love it. So so what are some of your favorite horror movies? Do you have a bunch of favorite horror movies? Do you um, like horror movies? I know you're in them, but do you like yeah. them? Yeah, Halloween was what really got me started. That's what like my mom kind of used to play when we were younger was all I was always scared of Michael Myers because it seemed like you know Jason was always like unstoppable or just showed up and killed people Michael Myers always walked slowly like a normal person that always scared the shit out of me yeah because he never <laughs> he never runs but he always gets his target yeah every time. so did you see the new one I have not seen it yet yeah, did, did you see the new one okay I you're did, a yeah. there's a lot of controversy you either liked it or you didn't which way did you oh, I, I liked you it go? okay <clears throat> I, I like, like the that. last one. I like the last one that, you know, but this one I haven't seen yet. I'll, I will see it eventually, but I haven't a lot seen of, it yet. A lot of kills and a lot more gory, bloody stuff. It was pretty good on that part, just because they did it very well. It wasn't just like very bloody. Like the effects and graphics of how they did it were were pretty legit. I like like love it. All right, so so I think that's I think it's just fun. I think the whole thing's. I don't fun. like blood and gore. I know he doesn't uh, like it, even though he makes them all the horror movies. He never gets killed in them, like where you see it. Nope. So far, he doesn't really like that too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so hold on. Now we're gonna bring on Joseph Kelly. Joseph C Kelly, come on in. He's coming in. Hey, hey how guys. you doing? Oh, it, is, it is the sergeant. I see you very nice. Hey, I that's my hat. You. I yeah, see I'm you also a stand. Cool. Right now, you notice. Oh, oh my hat. hat. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to kill you tonight. <laughs> and then I'm going to eat you. But I'm going to give your dick to somebody else to eat because uh, I don't uh, want everybody's mouth on my dick. On your <laughs> dick. <laughs> what a pig. I'm going to kill you, Jos <laughs> Josie Kelly. What's up, everybody? Now we're welcoming director <laughs> well, Joseph Kelly. Actually, director, actor, he does everything, you guys. Producer, and, and soon writer. To, soon to be mm -hmm. dead from the blood. <laughs> the blood I'm going to take from you. You don't understand me. Oh. I'm going to cut you on the neck. I'm going to drink you dry. That's bad. And enough. then I'm going to be stoned out of my mind because the alcohol content in your blood has got to be 2,000. Yeah, from this weekend. <laughs> hey, Joey. How you doing, baby? I'm back. I just had to post that on uh, our fan page quick. So, yep, people know. And now I'm opening it to you guys. Hey, good. So welcome. You already know Johnny Perotti because he's like uh, hammy in your films. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he looks familiar. <laughs> He looks familiar because you have his hat that you just had his hat a yeah, second ago. Right. And then you've got a <laughs> chat room full of people. So say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hey, everyone. I know Johnny beat me to it, but uh, happy birthday, Don. Also, I told her I'd give her a shout out as well. And, uh, okay, yeah, cool. Everyone's doing good. Oh, yeah. They all love you. Anyway, everybody's saying you go, Joe is so talented. What's up, Joe? Hello. Yay, Joe. Uh, yes, time for my shout out, Don just said. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of fun. So, all right. So, you guys, Saturday night, we went and saw uh, in Lake Elsador, we went and saw Clown Motel 2, uh, another screening. Uh, Johnny was there. Joseph was there. In a little while, Dave Bailey's coming on. He was also there. Uh, Mark Hoadley from the film was there. Um, who else was there? There's a lot of fun people, you guys. Everybody was Lillian, there. Lillian Mortis was there. 
we had a really we had a really really good time and i wanted to give a shout out to kimmy because we had i had never met kimmy before and kimmy hosted the event and she was fabulous she was so much fun and she's gorgeous and we loved meeting her and uh she's what a great supporter of everything that you guys got going on so so thank you kimmy and we didn't get home till three in the morning Uh, And look what I look like. I lost sleep. (laughs) If I don't get, uh, you know, eight hours sleep, I look terrible. So, so let's do some bragging, a little bit of bragging too. So, so you guys, Joe Kelly, besides being a writer, director, producer of the clown motel one and two and the first clown motel, uh, he's also, uh, got a bunch of other films coming out compatible appetite for sin. Volpe's is that you too? Volpe's? I think I saw it on your IMDB. I I think I'm just one of the producers, a low producer on that. I just, Funded a okay. little bit, but nothing major. <laughs> okay, well, but wait, you guys, what, wait, when is compatible coming out? I'm dying to see it. So we're actually trying to get a Valentine release since it's like a dating website movie, you know, horror website. So trying for February for a release, uh, for distribution at least, um, for a premiere, then distribution. You know, all these films probably be coming out in the spring. Because we it. did about six different takes on that, Jimmy and I, and, and I'm that, hoping that. I'm hoping you used the really dirty one I did. I hope you used one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I'm sure they. I'm sure they did. Um, the, the, my dirty one was very classic. So you guys, though, so not only is has Joseph done all these things, but he, he's also a stand-in for John Cena he, in the Bumblebee movie. You guys, uh, which is very cool. Like, did you, is John Cena nice? <laughs> yeah, he's nice. It's funny because I knew his brother ten years before, and I didn't even know he's related to John Cena. But yeah, he's a really humble guy, great guy, and good to talk to. And then you guys, he plays a uh, a band roadie in A Star Is Born, and if you watch the movie, you can actually see him standing next to Lady Gaga, like in the film. Which I love the film. Ron hated the film, and uh, of course I love the original with Barbara Streisand, which mm. isn't the original. There's another one before no, that. Yeah, but the first, that one was really corny. Uh, the one with Frederick March, I didn't care for that one. I think Streisand did a brilliant <laughs> job in The Star is Born. And he's also he's also a Tommy Knocker in Night of the Tommy Knockers. And we've had a ton of these people uh, on our show. Uh, so other people that are in Night of the Tommy Knockers, that's a Bahal Brothers show, right? That is. Bahal. Yep. I was one of the killers in that. And I'm also going to be executive producer. Uh, first time mentioning this on uh, Bermuda Island, the one they're shooting short. Oh, that's fabulous. So you guys in, in Night of the Tommy Knockers, we have Tom Sizemore, Richard Grigo. Rico, Robert Donovan, Jessica Morris, who we just met at Sadie's birthday party a couple weeks ago. She's fabulous. Robert Lissardo and Ben Stauber. And then Clown Motel 2, which is making its festival run uh, right now. You're going someplace this weekend, right? And that'll be coming out sometime next year, you guys. Yeah, definitely. Idaho, we're going. Um, and yeah, pretty much just private screenings right now. We might do festivals next year. Um, oh, oh, that's right. Believe it or not, I've got people asking me, when is Clown 2? When could we see Clown 2? Yeah, a lot of people are asking us yeah. now. They, and I said, I don't know. They're, you know, It's up to John <clears throat> Kelly to get it out there. And the you new know. edit is really good, I want to tell you. Like, it's uh, really yep. good. It's, it's better it came than out the really first. good yeah, than the, the first, first one. The first was too long. Yeah, we and, cut 13 minutes off. And my scenes, of course, were glorious. And the, the movie, <laughs> you know, I made the movie. If, it was, if I was not in that movie, it would have never gone anywhere. Well, we want Hammy like fucking some stuff. Back in the next one, that's a, that's <laughs> right, Joe. Right, third one, you know, for Thanksgiving, we'll get a turkey. <laughs> but you know, something, <laughs> yeah, wait, for you Thanksgiving, know, <laughs> you know, you know, something more is more is not necessarily good. It, it, you know, it was shocking in the first movie. If you keep doing it, it's not gonna you're gonna be numb. Leave mm. it alone. Now Le- you can find something else to have. Yeah, let him do something yeah. else because like a he, car tire or something. <laughs> what he what he did in, yeah, use it for a cock ring. What he did in the first movie it had to was, be a big tire. Yeah, well, you know, they're all they're all <laughs> well, we're, we're Italian, right? <laughs> Johnny, we're meanwhile, I think my hair's falling. They're out. all saying, Hammy is a oh superstar. Oh my god, my hair fell oh, out. No. Oh, I was itching the chat room is saying, Hammy's a superstar, so we oh. got a lot of it. So, here's what we're gonna do I want everybody to see the, the, the trailer for Clown Motel, too. This time, we're gonna let uh Joseph Kelly introduce the, the trailer. And uh, and then you introduce it, and then Roxy, when he gets done introducing it, go ahead and uh, play it for everybody so they can see it. All right, guys. Director Joseph Kelly here. This is Clown Motel 2 trailer coming out in the spring 2022. Hope you enjoy. Hey. <laughs> it's been six months. <laughs> Why didn't you find me yet? Where are you, Joe? We are looking for Sergeant Kelly. Yeah. It's me, General Milan. Just received new information on Brooke. So we got a team? The best.
I feel an entity has entered. Okay, squad, the outside perimeter is clear. You have lost me three souls. Bring me back those souls while we find the cure. What kind of sick society wants a human sacrifice? If we can connect to base, we should be able to see what's going on. Bring me a pure soul tonight! We lost him. <laughs> it's time to kill! 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 All hail, angel of darkness! Let the transformation begin. You said the rebirth of their world is every 50 years. You humans, you don't understand our world. <laughs> bye bye! The clowns will rise in blood tonight! Clown. Fuck, got stranded on the side of the road, got waterboarded. Sergeant Slaughter shows up and he's like, hey, did you bang my wife? Well, you fucking right I banged your wife. I fucking love Dietrich at the end of that so much. It's so much fun. Well, I'm in this film, starring in this film. And I really was not wanting to do the film when I read the script. And I said to Joseph, I don't like vulgarity of any kind. I never use it and I never listen to it. And I thought it should be a little more religious and a little cleaner and, you know, more heavenly. And Joseph Kelly said, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Next one, we'll do person base, you know. What, babe? Next one, we'll do person base. Catholic. Yeah. The last one. So look at, did you see? Uh... <laughs> Next time we're going to do those bite. Bits. What the fuck are they called? Bit bites. Did you see us? Uh, who Diane? I think it was Diane just wrote up there like how her favorite part of the movie is when when Hammy tries to hide behind the pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's funny. Which is absolutely hilarious. Clown Two is a fun film. I keep saying to everybody, those of you who like horror will get horror. Those of you who like camp will get a campy film. Those of you who just enjoy seeing crazy stuff. They're going to enjoy it. So there's something for everybody. And I strongly suggest that you see the film, you know, even though I'm, it, it, well, you have to see it because I'm in it. My performance is outstanding. I mean, how could you Teresa miss Saban it? said she thought you were great. Oh, I'm fabulous. I'm getting an Academy <laughs> Award for it. I'm going to pull that movie out of the toilet and bring it up to Hollywood stars. I mean, I, I'm just fabulous. I'm also very modest. <laughs> yeah. But, but anyway, Joseph Kelly. I think you're outstanding in everything you do. You grab stuff and you make it happen. And I really admire you for doing what you do so well. And you produce so many things. You get funded, you get out there, and you get red carpets with parties after. I think you're just one of Hollywood's biggest and best. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, thank you so much. And, you know, it's everyone involved, too. I mean, Fun What's Hell, too. We had, you know, all you guys. You guys were great. All three of you were in it. And hundred other people to make this happen. And it's uh, one big family, I guess you would say. Absolutely. Well, yeah. And I, it's fun. You know, in spite of crap happens in our industry, we, we, we rise above it all and we give a good mm -hmm. movie and a good performance. You know, you got to deal with the shit too. So but, real quick, Joseph, cause we're going to bring Dave on too uh, in a minute, but what is your, uh, what are some of your favorite like horror franchises? Like besides, I, I know you're actually a horror fan cause everything yeah. you do is horror. So what are some of your favorite horror franchises? I think my first movie was the ring. So, you know, I grew up on that. I, I didn't grow up till I was 12, 13 watching horror films, but then I got into Friday the 13th. And after that, Michael Myers, uh, not too much into Freddy, but I still have to watch all of them. So, but mostly I love Freddy, but I like Pinhead. I'm I'm, I'm big into Hellraiser mm -hmm. uh, a lot, mostly because I also because I met Clive Barker like one time, like one time, and and he was the coolest guy ever to meet. 
Um, so it was a lot of fun. But I, I like all the different franchises, and I like the torture porn stuff. So I like I like Saw a lot. <laughs> torture uh, porn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is torture? Porn? It's like movies where like like Saw. Like Hostel. Hostel. Um, Hostel. Yeah. Is that like I the, love Hostel? Like the ugly worm movie. Actually, I thought the first Hostel was great. I thought the second Hostel was okay, except for that when like she let the dog bite the guy's dick off. I didn't like that. <laughs> Because that was just seemed painful, and then the third one I thought was shit. You know, by the time they get to the third one, if the writing's not good, they're really not good. But we know yeah, that Motel like Three will be really good. Three. Yes, you I, like I would one. like to see you know Joe do like Alice in Wonderland movie <laughs> with horror people. <laughs> well, that's a good idea, actually. Right. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> and all those things turn into clowns. And I'm really disappointed in you, Johnny. That you didn't come on as a clown. Here Jimmy and I are sitting looking like two schmucks <laughs> all painted up. And you guys came on Wash Face. And I advertised on Facebook. I said, tune into our show with the evil, wicked, killer clowns. or clowns? Well, Joe's not a clown. Only, only Johnny I is. I could have did it. I didn't know. Like but, clowns, but, but but, well, even. Dave's not coming in and making No, because Dave's at work. So Dave, right. Dave's coming in from work. So We're going to bring him in now. So Every here Jimmy and I sit like two morons all made up. That's okay. <laughs> We look fabulous. Hey, so Joe, you what do you look think great. Of, you look great. What, hey! What you, Joe, hey, what guys. You, wait, one minute. <clears throat> hey, Joe, what do you think of me if I could play a vampire, a horrible, ugly shit? I'd love it. <laughs> yeah, no, I really would. I look good. I could scare you. I could scare people. Yeah, anyway. I love it. So now you guys, were we're bringing on, we call Davey, him... Davey, we, Davey, we, we Davey, call Davey. him Dave, but he's actually David W. Bailey, also known as Golden Ager in Clown Motel 1 and 2. Hey, Dave, welcome to the show. What's up, guys? How you doing? But to, to me, he will always be Davey, my little boy. He, I, take, I took him under my wing like my son. I teach him right from wrong. Stay away from those cheesy tramps. Don't gamble. Don't drink. I teach him all the right stuff. Right, Davey? Find yourself a nice girl. Get married. Have a couple of kids. Live in the country and die of boredom. I would love to move to the country eventually after having, you know, another 20, 30 years of uh, partying and hanging out on the red carpet. The Like, Cincinnati countryside uh, would be the greatest. You know, my grandparents grew up in Illinois, so it's like... I got country in me. <laughs> yeah, well, so, wait, wait, we, wait, we, we have good times at all the red carpets. I have country in me also. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, that's country. <laughs> <laughs> that's real country. So, so real quick, Dave, say hi to everybody in the chat room and then say hi to Diane. Hey, everybody. Hey, Diane. Who all's in the chat room? I can't see it from where I'm at. Don Hinton, uh, Teresa hey, Sabin. Uh, and I don't know. There's a whole bunch of people, but it's not going fast enough for me to see it, and I can't scroll and, back and up. And all you girls <laughs> out there, you got to see Davey without a shirt. He is lifting weights and he's getting a body like Superman. He is going to be the hottest thing in Hollywood. And I know all of you nice girls, not cheesy low life tramp whores. Bitches. <laughs> We don't want we don't want those kind of whores. We don't want those ugly little fucking whores that think they're Gene Harlow. We want nice girls, nice absolutely. Girls. And, and he is, you guys. He's starting to kind of look, kind of like Nicolas Cage. You kind of got that Nicolas Cage. He looks Cage, good. He's you know, looking good, going. girls. Girls, he's looking good. So we want to congratulate Dave first before we talk about Clown Motel too. You guys, Dave has a brand new short. It's just coming out. It's called The Stitcher. We haven't seen it yet, but I've seen the poster, and I guess Dave is the Stitcher. Starring Aubrey Trujillo, who, who we love, Chris Calhoun, and Diane, who's in the chat room. Diane. Hey, Diane. So tell us, give everybody a little lowdown real quick on the Stitcher, so that way we can like help promote it. So basically, in uh, February, uh, Jerry, um, uh, Jerry, Aubrey, and I were kind of hanging out. Um, I was, I, I had so much going on, I had to hand over the uh, the um, obscura footage to them, and we're just kind of sitting and we're talking. And we're like, like. I told him I had like this little idea. And so it's basically uh, a week and a half later, we had uh, shot at a house in the Hollywood Hills uh, that a friend uh, that Joe and I have. Um, she's a bartender at uh, the, the, the bar. And she was like, hey, I want to shoot something in this house. And like, there's a, there's a couple of different uh, like deaths like that have happened in the house. So it's like they were trying to push and get it famous. Um, and then I had the idea through the pandemic, um, you know, some people say it's a little political, but it wasn't really for me. It was just kind of from a horror perspective. I was like, well, what if 
what if there was an entity that forced you to wear your COVID mask if you weren't wearing it, you know? And then I was like, well, what if he had followers? And then I was like, well, what if he, what if he sewed it onto you? So that's what the stitcher is. If you don't wear, so you COVID sew mask. on a fucking COVID mask. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you sew one on Biden? <laughs> <laughs> and the vice president to keep her mouth shut. So anyway, did you? So wait, wait. So I didn't know that that's what it's about. And you're the stitcher, right? You play yeah, the stitcher because yeah, yeah. in the poster, so, you're so in the poster. Do you do like a lock stitch? Um, an embroidery you'll have, you'll, stitch. You'll, you'll, you'll have to watch it to find out. Oh, I won't watch that movie. Oh, I'll tell. It's a short. It's a short. Oh, I won't watch it. Oh, I'll totally watch it. I can't bear the fact of anybody putting stitches in the face. Oh wait, <laughs> did you guys ever see the movie Strange Land with D. Snyder when he does I, that? I, oh, did, that's I did. Awesome. I did a long time ago, and actually, it's kind of funny. Like uh, back then, um, that movie was kind of based on something that uh, my boss in Cincinnati and I were kind of wrote a similar story. It's, it was called LOL. And it was basically uh, everybody on the internet in chat rooms trying to figure out who the killer was. Um, and so when I saw Strange Line, I was like, oh, man, that's kind of like very similar to to our movie. It's a great yeah, but movie. But I do remember all those stitches up there. That was that's Yeah, that shit freaks me I out. I mean, seriously, when I see a needle going through skin with thread, I cringe. I can't look at it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It really, it really su- fucks. It fucks me up. Oh, because, and I just watched. Uh, you know, I've never had a facelift because of that reason. I I, I just no, watched. seriously. I just watched the last. I'm speaking, Maricon. Listen, <laughs> um, I I when they give you a facelift, they shoot staples in your body, in your face, and they sew it. I mean, come on! Are you sewing masks on people? That's Wasn't disgusting. somebody stapling stuff to somebody at our party this weekend? Yeah, they were stapling <laughs> dollar bills to Lillian Mortis. You guys, Lillian was I our guest two weeks ago. Was. <laughs> she was like fun. I actually just watched the last house on the left, and the, and in that, you know, the girl when she's getting even. Uh, I think it was last she's house on the left. Or, no, no, not last house on the left. What was the <laughs> other one? What's the other one that's like last house on the left? Anyway, she like yeah, she like puts the guy down and like puts honey on him and st- and, and hits. And then she uh, stitches his eyes shut so the crows wow. can come and eat the honey and peck his eyes out. I can't breathe. Oh my gosh. I, I, I will never watch that. <laughs> and uh, that shit's yeah, freaking right. awesome. I love watching that shit. <laughs> anyway, so now Dave's got the stitcher. So where? So it's going to go to film festivals and stuff. So eventually we're going to see it, right? Yeah, I just went to one in Illinois over the weekend that uh, my cousin actually went and repped us. Um, uh, and I've got it out to like 30 different places. So hopefully soon there'll be one that's in L.A. and close that we can all, you know, cast and crew and everybody can go see it. Oh, absolutely. I totally want to Now, see anybody it. out there that's in the biz that has money who wants to invest in a good movie, call Dave. He has written a script that is absolutely superb. It's probably one of the best scripts I have read in a long time of this kind of movie. These killer, you know, knock them off, chop them up shit. It's a great movie. And, and, of course I'm in it. I play a father to, <laughs> to, to, to my girlfriend who I'm in love with secretly. I have a secret crush on Angie Stevenson. She is so beautiful. <clears throat> oh, my God. Everybody I look at her, I look at her and, not be- and sweet and adorable. Like I wrote on Facebook, if I were 40 years younger and straight, I would go to bed with her in a minute. Everybody's saying congratulations too, Dave. And then everybody else, so would we at my table. Remember, Joe? Anyway, (laughs) (laughs) all the guys agreed. Angie Stevenson is probably one of the most glamorous, sexy ladies today in the movies. And she's a decent woman and a kind girl and a sweetie pie. And she's in Clown Motel too also yeah right? she's yeah she's yeah, yeah. The, the funny part is we're, we're, we're doing the pool <laughs> table scene and she's standing right next to me with her knockers practically in my face and i thought to myself i said listen i'm a general i'm a man if this woman is talking i'm going to stare at her boobs while she's delivering her speech <laughs> and i did because it made it real what guy wouldn't look at them when they're right in your eyeball i mean give me a break Gotta like love it. So Joseph like Kelly to, loved I'd like it. To add, Ron had to turn his head a little bit for them to be there, and it, it, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. well, I, hilarious. I, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want my. <laughs> there you go, Dave. <laughs> I didn't want my eye to be poked out, and Joseph <laughs> Kelly was hyperventilating. So we. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Jojo, when Joe yeah. saw her, she's a super gal. I love her. So wait, so so how did Hammy get involved in Clown Wait, Hotel? is she in our chat room now? No. 
Could no. it be earlier? No. So she how, just thought because of that. So how, how how did you guys meet Johnny Perotti to play Hammy? Like, how did Hammy uh, get involved? I met Johnny at the Upstate New York Horror Film Festival, probably our third year running or so, about five, six years ago. Um, you know, then he says, um, two years later, I'm making Clown Motel. Hey, do you have a role for me? I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, put me in anything. <laughs> I'll do anything. I'm like, okay, we could do this. Yeah, I was never, actually doing Never, never say that to Joe. Oh, yeah, I I'll do anything. That. See what wound up happening. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> on, I was oh. actually doing a presentation on the paranormal at the horror festival for him and Rob. And then, you know, we became friends. And I was like, you, you got to put me in this movie. And he's like, oh, yeah, you'd probably be a good hammy. I was like, oh, absolutely. I had no idea the best, what the hell the kind best, of shit I got into. The best Tammy. <laughs> I want to say something on a personal note to Joseph Kelly. For those of you out there, I want you to know this man is probably one of the greatest fathers. I respect him and I love him more for what he does with his son because I was a single parent. Also, I raised two daughters alone and I know how hard it is to be there for them and to be the dads that we are. And I'm going to tell Joe again, you get what you put, you get back what you put in and your son is just the most charming little gentleman mm -hmm. and you're doing a brilliant job, Joseph. Now, if some lovely lady out there wants to be the wife, or the mother to this child, you know, <laughs> Joseph Kelly's available. He's Thank a single so guy. That, <laughs> that's why that's you don't want to, you, you don't, you don't want to get married one day. Steady pussy. I mean, you, instead of going hunting for pussy, it's you know, pussy every night. It's nice. <laughs> I, I was told. I was actually told that once you get married, they hold out more. They do. <laughs> They do. My wife, when I would go upstairs to go to bed. <laughs> no, no, not me. His real wife. No, my, 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 my wife, when I was married, she turned, the, she turned the light out and pretend she was sleeping. That's fucking hilarious. And that's when I said to myself, fuck you, I'm going gay. So here's one thing, too. I want to I want to give some props to David Bailey, too. I have to give props to everybody. Dave and, is a good guy. Um, Dave's a good guy. But you guys, I, I don't know if a lot of people know if you go to his IMDb, because I've never been to his IMDb until today. I knew he was an editor. <laughs> but he, he's like an editor on like real television, you guys, like really great things. He does a lot of really big shows. He's worked with a lot of really big shows. Editor, assistant editor. I mean, like you've really done like a lot. So when people come to you to edit, I mean, you should I mean, you, you've actually got a career editing. Uh, yeah. Like a really good one, and so I want to give you props for that because I don't think well, anybody did, did, knows that. Didn't he edit Clown? Yes, I did. I did. Um, Clown one he, and two, right? Or just one? Yeah, yeah. Clown one and two. Um, I actually, with the Stitcher, I was so I was kind of in between working too many jobs, and I actually uh, Joe Lujan edited that one for me, <laughs> and it was really nice because it was just fun to see what the you know the whole culmination of what it was but some through somebody else's eyes but um yeah right now i'm finishing off the two shows i'm, I'm actually working two shows i'm finishing off uh, chrissy's court and the other one i'm working on is project runway which i can't talk about any of it except to say that i'm working on them I right hate, i hate that shit that you can't talk about it but dave let's talk about your script what is, I, I hate <laughs> no I, I hate the title of the movie because i can't remember it and i don't think people will remember it so i'm going to kind of Give him an it's, argument. Uh, Italian. Yeah, I know, but nobody. I speak Italian, but nobody else does. Johnny probably does. Johnny, do you speak Italian? Yeah, manja, manja, not, manja. Not a yeah. That, yeah he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> that means in Italian. That means eat, eat, eat. But seriously, Dave, what is the name of your movie? It's uh, thankless. That that's Thank what it is. That's the American translation. Right. And what's the Italian right. word? Ingrata. 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 In, in, so ingrata. 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 I like love it. I like thankless better. Ingrata is going to be a little, well, whatever you want. But the script is good. You want to tell, you don't want to tell us about it. No, don't tell us somebody about it. No, 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 no. Okay, no. But, that was, you know, but I got to say something about it. Depending the on the budget, like uh, Johnny and I were actually talking about, we could go to uh, Puerto Rico and <laughs> shoot. <laughs> we get a big enough budget. Let's do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so you guys, Dave. I, I, I like the switch and twist in this movie. By the way, folks, it really blows you away when you suddenly realize what's happening. It, I freaked out when I read it. I thought, wow. Actually, they love the Ingrata and, and title. I think Sadie Katz is a, go a daughter of mine. Yes, yeah, Sadie actually read it in like two and a half hours. She I loved like it. Shocked. She I told me she no. Sadie loved it. <clears throat> she told me that she's the one that told me, Ron, read his script. It's really good, and I read it, and it really is good. 
and then I think Sherry Davis is my other daughter. Yes. yes. So, uh, so, and no, no, she's she's the she's the one that's involved with the affair. Yeah, well, we won't say that. Okay. Yeah, you can't yeah. say any of that. We and can't then, say any of that. But is Angie, Angie Stevenson is in it now? <laughs> Well, she wasn't until you mentioned her, but now I'm probably gonna have to put her in. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Let her play. Let her play the woman I sleep with. <laughs> yeah, right. So naked. I, so a naked scene with Angie. We're so both you guys, naked in bed. Dave's Dave's got Ingrata, and he's got his new movie. Joe Stitcher. likes that. Joe lights up when I talk dirty sex. Joe's look jo at Joe. He's such a know, perv. He's, oh, yeah. he's a pervert. Joe Kelly's got a new. <laughs> you guys, Joe Kelly's he's, got you're a lady killer pervert. Besides all Joe's <laughs> films that are going to be coming out next year, he's also going to be in pre-production for Clowny coming up soon. Right. And uh, Johnny, Johnny's going to be in Clowny, I think, right? Am I right? I saw it on IMDb, so I'm just yeah, assuming. I, I, am, am I in Clowny? I don't know. Yeah, you're yeah, you a counselor. You're gonna and be a counselor uh, Angie Stevenson new. was actually the oh, teacher. Oh, an another and role. Angie Stevenson's a teacher. No way. You're kidding me. Yeah, she's a hot teacher. Oh, can I, throw, can, can, I, can I throw her on the desk and make out with her? Yeah, with the roller, you know. No, oh. I'm doing that. I'm doing oh, yeah. that. No, no. Can I? Can so I? I did you a solid there, Ron? <laughs> no, really. Yeah. I, am I in the scene with Angie? I might be crossing. Yeah. So Ooh, wait a second. So I what's the wait. what's the whole thing with clowns? Like you have like an obsession, uh, like an obsession with clowns, Joe? He was kidnapped no, by it's, a it's clown. When he was a kid. Gotta, yeah, after clowny, I got a. <laughs> no. And actually, no, because, you know, the first Palm Hotel, it hit so good, you know, overseas, top 14 box office, Turkey and all that. So might as well build on it. So I, I told Dave, too, after Palm Hotel 3, I'm pretty much done. I might do a prequel, but way down the line. And I'm going to switch uh, genres. And Yep. I'm no, I'm no oh, longer allowed in Turkey now. Let me, let me I, give you I told Joe that, uh, <laughs> Joe, Joe, I told Joe that I would cut Clown Motel 3 for free if I could. <laughs> If I could potentially, if we could make it just a golden age movie, so we're still. Oh, talking I would about love that a gold. Maybe. I would love a no, golden age movie because you're I have, awesome. I have a script for. But, but I have has a, to be in it. I have a script for <laughs> Joe. I play a vampire, coming <laughs> over the border illegally, and I eat all and drink all the blood of the other people that are coming over the border, <laughs> and now they're all dying. So Biden is yelling. Get that vampire because he's killing all the people I brought into the country to do the work that the white people don't want to do. That sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good movie, right? right? Yeah, and if we were on Facebook, like, and then we'd we all could, be and kicked then, off, and then, right? And, and, then, and then, we could have, then we could have Donald Trump come out with a big sword, and he's the vampire killer, and he becomes the hero. Uh, yeah, except says, for Biden, yeah, need to be the star Biden would probably call you Frankenstein instead of Dracula. So. <laughs> 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 oh shit, that shit's fucking funny. I like love it. So okay, so Joe, uh, you would go, you would switch over to westerns. Do you guys like westerns? Have you got? I've never been in a western. I did. I was on Sarah with Brenda Vaccaro. Yeah, no, no, I have I was on a horse for yeah, eighteen no, uh, weeks. That's all I ever did. I sat on a fucking horse. <laughs> And I never had a line or anything. I just sat on a horse. Uh, my that ass was fun. killing me. No, yeah, it wasn't. no fun. <laughs> Actually, I don't ever really watch. I don't watch that many westerns. Even though it seems like everybody's trying to revive that because a lot of people are doing westerns right now. Yeah, and that I, would be a bigger one. You know, that'd be a couple million. So that's why I'm winning a few years. Hey, Joe, right? That I'm a vampire in a western. I could be a vampire on a horse. I'm I dying, like vampire. I'm dying to be a vampire. Look at me. I know. Wish I got you an appetite for sin. I would like to do. I would like to do like a vampire cool. movie, like The Covenant <laughs> with the witches. Like all the guys were the witches, but like do a vampire like The Covenant, kind of like The Lost Boys, but like updated. <sighs> look at him. God, you look That's terrible. Addition for us. <laughs> Dave, Dave Bailey, I would drink your blood. But I don't know who you've had sex with. You could have gonorrhea, so I'm not going to drink your blood. <laughs> well, you've been around. <laughs> yeah, never know. So, so Johnny, do you have another movie coming out or no? Or you're, I know you're involved with these guys in a lot of things, so I'm trying to like pitch all the different things that we got going. Because when we saw Clown Motel 2, you guys, there was trailers for a bunch of other movies that uh, Joe's involved with. And uh, Dave's probably involved with a bunch of those, too. Uh, and Johnny's in some of those, so... So what do you got yeah. coming, Johnny? Anything you got coming out? Um, I have one of Joe Lujan's movies, Decay's Paradox. Okay. And then uh, that's supposed to be coming out. I already filmed that. He said they're like 85 to 90% done, so that should be out soon. 
I actually and like then, Joe uh, Lujan a lot. He's nice. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. He's really fun to work with. His sets are pretty cool. Well, and now then, I've uh, got to say something. I'm sorry. You know him. I know everybody. Now I've got to say something nice about my guy. Jimmy Starr is going to go into production soon of a movie starring Sadie Katz. And it's a damn good movie. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to tell what it's about. But I know when you, it's not a horror movie. It's just a good movie. Fun it movie. Horror movie. Well, it's not that kind of no, horror. No, Red River's movie. different. No, no, Red River, I'm I'm in. That's why I'm I'm producing my, Red River. He's in it. Yeah, I'm with that fabulous gal who I'm, I've fallen so crazy about her. That that Ball, Ming Ballad Broad is gorgeous, sexy. We're and doing wonderful. it with Jack O'Halloran too from Superman. You know, oh, Joe, nice. you know, Joe, if you want to meet a nice girl or Dave, I or Joe or Johnny. Ming, John, Johnny's already taken. No, Ming is really taken. a sweetheart. Ming <laughs> is a sweetheart. She is the nicest, most homespun girl in the world. Dave, I'd like to see you with a girl like that, not like the other. And Joe, I think, <laughs> you know, I mean, Joe's, no, Joe's Dave's all, shitting bricks right no, now. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I'm I just watching Joe's reaction to it all. I tell it, I tell it, it, <laughs> I tell it like it is. I never pull punches. That's why people like me. I'm honest. And Joe, I would fix you up with Ming, but you're a heartbreaker. Because yeah, you go out sorry. with all the girls and you get bored with them and you throw them aside. So fuck you. You're not going to get married. <laughs> but Dave, I think you should really uh, get go to dinner with Ming one night. <coughs> she is really the kindest, sweetest, nicest, homespun girl. And and, 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 ge and a genius. She writes beautifully. She has and, a vampire movie called Vampire on I know. Amazon Prime right and now. And we, when we went to her birthday party, we saw a film that she did and she was brilliant. She's really a dame that that's sort of like under the dust, and we have to dust her off and bring her forward. And Joe, if I were you in one of your films, I would definitely meet with Ming and see if you want to cast her. She's a damn good actress. Yeah, I met her at Halloween Hot Hotness too, and yes. I met her before too. So I love her. I actually, love I invited them to the first clown motel too. Premiere. I the love. First one. I love oh. Ming. I really do love her. She's she's become one of my other children. And Diane's know. laughing in the chat room. <laughs> Why is she laughing? No, I have so many little daughters. You know, Sadie, Kat, Sherry, Davis, and uh, uh, Ming. They're all my little kids. They could be my grandchildren. Just like Joseph is like my son and David, my son. Johnny Perotti's a pervert. I don't want him to be my son. <laughs> <laughs> He's even too dirty for me. What he does in that movie, Clown One, you got to see, Clown kids. Hotel one. You got to see what, you got to get the movie just to see what Johnny do. He's really wild. Joe, who put him up to that? You or, how was it in the script? Yeah, no, it was me, and it was based on some real facts, I guess. Someone actually tried to saw a ghost fucking a ham or something in one of the stories. No, 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 don't give it away. Don't give <laughs> it away. Don't give it away. That's okay. Everyone out there, go to Walmart. Now you know what to look at and see, though. No, go to Walmart or Kmart or whatever the fuck, Mart, and buy the film. The what is it, like 19 bucks the film is? Whatever. How much yeah, is the movie? It's like free 19? on Tubi TV and Amazon right now. You could also buy it on Amazon for like $9.99. Yeah, I'm telling you, Amazon, you guys. get the movie just to see uh, Hammy. Go and, to if, and, and of course, the movie is good. Go to I Tubi, actually guys. tamed that scene down. That scene was worse in, in Joe's mind. I actually yeah. tamed it down. Why, why would you tame it down? Well, um, it, because it, it, sto it stole the it was movie. Too much. No, it he wanted me movie. naked. So oh, no, no. That, that I tamed been... it down as well. I, I was like, okay, well, I read the no. script. I was inside the mind of Joe. I'm inside the mind of Joe Kelly. And I'm like, okay. So the way I edited it, I actually went like two or three notches up and, and uh, Johnny and Joe were like, dude, you gotta, you gotta take like, there was like 30 extra seconds in my original. It's like a minute. Yeah. Doing that. That's so yes, funny. I, was, I felt like I was there for 10 I, minutes. I, lo I, I love, jo I love Johnny, but that would not have been a pretty sight. Roch Rachel, <laughs> no. Rachel, Rachel in the chat room says now she understands the Turkey joke from earlier. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's just hilarious. Uh, actually though, you know, people become famous from that because remember, if you guys saw Borat, um, the guy from Borat, who we know, we oh, see at all the events. He is so Ken, Ken wild. Ken Vichian. We I have love, a blast with him. We, we see him at every him. event. He is out of his fucking mind. He is funny <laughs> in person. He's weird and uh, outrageous. I love him. Whenever I'm at parties, he always finds me and he tortures me for 10 minutes and I torture him back. We have a wonderful relation, torture relationship. 
I like love it. So let's a good guy. Let's do a, a thing. Okay, th- so think about this, you guys, because uh, I don't think we've ever asked you guys, and you guys oh, are. Wait in a the- minute. You know what? We never mentioned Sherry Nelson, that gorgeous creature that's in Canada. <coughs> I want. I want her to come to America so bad. She's coming soon. She's going to be in Las Vegas. Wait, but I don't understand why people could just walk in the border from all over the world through Mexico, and she's a beautiful, you know, working girl with money, and they won't let her in our country. That's why. I think Biden has to really <laughs> change his priorities, let everybody in Biden, not just some, okay? She's, you want, she's you want diversity, come. let the whole world come into America without passports. So anyway, Sherry's going to be coming, and then we're going to be trying to get her in some films, you guys. She's, she's so gorgeous. beautiful and a sweetheart of a girl. Yeah, she's really nice. nice. Oh, but we got to keep Joe away from her. We met her at the Oscar party a couple of years yeah. ago. Yeah, but yeah. you're not allowed to go near her. I'll break your legs. Okay. Yeah. You can go near no, her. He'll, 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 you know what? You know what? Let me tell you. I know Sherry. She's one not to play with. I think she could twist your balls around and stuff them up your ass if you get wise <laughs> with her. Oh, I would like you to go out with Sherry. She could teach you a few lessons. Oh, don't yes, threaten yes, me yes. with a good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sherry. But don't threaten him with a good time. No, Sherry will put you in place and we make love you. Sherry. Oh, yeah. She's nobody's fool. She's a very smart we, woman. We love her. She's fabulous. So let's let's go back. You gotta so, so you got to say Sherry Nelson. Bu- uh, bu- bucket list. Yes. Bucket list. <laughs> bucket list. Who Who's a male and female actor you guys would like to work with in a film? Start with you, Johnny Parati. Oh, Parodi. Uh, Parodi. That's a good question. I, I don't know. Uh, All right, we'll come back to you, Joe Kelly. Yeah, come back to me. I don't know. I always, I mean, I always like Tom Cruise. He's crazy. I don't know why. Um, that's all I could think of on top of my head right now. For a male, what act- about a for a female actor? For actress? female, maybe Daniel Harris. Who? Daniel Harris is. She's oh, I thought he nice. meant the vice president. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, Gen- Jennifer Aniston, I like too. No, nah, I don't know. I like Daniel Harris. Jennifer, better. Jennifer Aniston's old, and she's not really pretty. That's um, <laughs> you don't, you don't want him to be with Angelina Jolie. No, that's just because you—that's your favorite. No, it's she's everybody's favorite. Angelina Jolie is the most beautiful woman in the world. Dave, Dave's turn. I, I would probably say honestly, since I was a kid, Danielle Harris, just because I grew up <coughs> watching her in those movies, and I was—I was only about two years older than her at that time, so I was like, "Oh, a little kid can actually fight my." Who, who is he talking about? Danielle Dan- Harris. Who is she? She's probably the biggest horror movie girl actress that there is, the biggest icon. Do, do we she, know her? I do, but you don't. Oh, um, pity. But she, she's also though been in a whole. She was in like uh, thing. Uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Yeah, uh, she's Day- in Free Willy. She was Free in, Willy. Uh, Daylight. Yeah, Daylight with uh, Daylight with uh, who was in Daylight? I forgot. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, I think, or somebody. It's actually that. Jonathan Jonathan Price, who's our composer for Palm Hotel. Uh, I met him at Shriekfest, and our conversation started with him saying that his first job was on Urban Legend, and his uh, mentor basically let him do his first scene was Daniel Harris's death scene for that movie, and I was like, Oh, oh that's God, awesome! That's and that's the other thing I wanted to bring out about Clown Motel. Their score is original, and it's a good score. Yeah, I actually noticed it for the first time. I when liked we played it. The oh no, no, I, I, the really music, good. the music is very powerful. It impacts you, and it makes the characters rounder. The music is fab. Who did the music on your movie? It was Jonathan. It was Jonathan oh, who, I remember did. two minutes uh, ago. I mean, I don't I know if you guys remember Jonathan. a couple of weeks ago. He's actually in the hospital right now. He has a brain tumor. Oh so no! For him, but. You know, hopefully it'll get better. Um, oh, we wish him now. well. Yeah, he's a good oh, guy. Wow. Yeah, he did. Um, Do you have a soundtrack on that for sale? So, some of the la- no, we don't have that, but uh, we could probably look into it. Um, he's been an audio. Climb Hotel Two, and and actually the the Stitcher that he finished. It's it's just such a hauntingly beautiful score. I, I well, why don't you put an album out? You guys, it's so easy to put out a yeah. soundtrack. It's what are not, you crazy? I, I can do it. For, I can tell you how to do it in two seconds. It's easy as hell, as long as you have the rights to the music. Yeah, no, well, I think the way that we did the rights, we basically got to use them for the movie, but then he kept them, um, which is fine because, like, you know, we're allowed to use them for the rest of the franchise, for the rest of the, you know, if we did Well, let let Jimmy produce it. I need the money to buy a Tesla. Yeah. (laughs) Let's wait. wait. So, Dave, who's the male actor, Dave? Who's the male actor? Um, I would say Donald Pleasance, but he's no longer alive. So, really... um, I don't know about acting with because it'd be too intimidating, but uh, Tristan Rogers, which I know you guys know, 
I've been watching him since the '80s, like when I was a little kid, um, as Robert Scorpio. So I used to always been, watch him. He's too, been one yeah. of my favorite. Yeah, he's a yeah. fun one. All You're right. talking about my buddy Tristan. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've been he watching him since I was a little kid. Actually, like some of the adventures that he went on on that show are the reason I started making movies. Really, to be honest. I love that. Johnny, go back to you. Wait, Where? wait. Tristan in person is the opposite <laughs> of his character. Tristan is probably, he smiles all the time, and he's very, very social, and he's very, nothing like his character. He's very cool. And his wife, we love and adore, Teresa. I love her to pieces. Teresa Rogers, Parker, Parker, was it Parker Rogers? Parkerson Rogers. Yeah, she's a gorgeous girl and a sweetheart. So, Johnny, go. <laughs> Male and female, Johnny. Well, I don't know. I don't kind of look at people like in that way. Like I don't get excited about famousness. Um, well, when, you but working off, with... when you jerk off, who do you fantasize about? <laughs> That's a oh, different shit. question. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm not going to answer that. I'm still answering the other one. Cause I'm going to what are you religious? Enjoyed... Now? You're going to go Christian on me. Well, no, I was going to say, I enjoyed working with Mindy Robinson, but I didn't want to say it after you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to have Randy beat the shit out of me. I actually, I actually like Mindy Robinson a lot. She's very cool. Yeah. And then Guy, I'd like to do like a mob movie with like a Joe Pesci or Ray Liotta, something like that. With yeah, me? That you cool. want to do a mob movie you with too, me? You too, yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. I love yeah. that. I'm I the ultimate gangster. I think that shit's so much fun. He um, says that he's the ultimate gangster while he's painted up like that with his hair. <laughs> no, but you know, it's called acting. Uh, th this is what I like. I, I don't want to always be a minister right. or a gangster or a, right. a school some he's shit. Basically, he's just a cop. Or, he basically plays a cop, a, I played, a minister. I, all my career, when I was on Charlie's Angels, I played a detective. When I was on McMillan and Wife, I played, I think I forgot what the fuck I played, a sailor or some shit. I've never played an ugly, what I am now. And I would love to play this uh, a gruesome, horrible person. Sadie's oh, movie on. that she's doing with Jimmy now, there's one role for an old man in it. And I said, Sadie, why didn't you think of me? And she said the same thing. Ron, you're too pretty. We, this guy has got to be ugly and disgusting. So I feel sorry for that actor, whoever he is, because, <laughs> you know, people are going to know him as being ugly and disgusting. So sometimes being nice looking is not good in movies you know that's okay it all it all works out so you guys give your social medias to everybody real quick we have, we have like a minute and a half start with you johnny parodi uh it's instagram's johnny underscore parodi underscore official and then facebook's just my name whenever i'm allowed on there <laughs> 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 It'll be for a, a, a blink of an eye. All right. Yeah. Jo Joseph Kelly, go. I actually got rid of all my social media except Facebook. So Facebook and then just all our movie pages you could look on. You know, find the file, compatible, appetite for sin. Yeah. There you go. And it's, is it Joseph, it's Joseph Kelly on Facebook, right? What? We didn't talk yep, about appetite for that. sin. Can we talk about appetite for sin for a quick minute? No, we only have less than we don't have any well, give time. Me, left. Give me a bit. Get, let us know about nobody knows what it means. Appetite for sin quickly. Joe. Okay. Appetite for sin. Yeah. Just a vampire film film with Matthew and uh, that'll be out next year. It's spring. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a All lot right. of vampire. Oh, Dave, Dave, go. Cause we're out of time. Dave, go. Tell uh, us Instagram is golden underscore ager underscore from underscore clown motel, something like that. And then uh, Facebook is just Dave Bailey or uh, clown motels, golden ager. All right, everybody. So we want you guys to check out, Check out Hocus Pocus from our first guest. Check out Clam Hotel 1. Soon you'll be able to see Clam Hotel 2. We want to thank you guys for coming and on And make the show. it a wonderful Halloween night. Get Clown Motel Stay 1 safe, and Hocus Pocus. You'll have a blast of a Halloween night. Stay Happy away Halloween, from everybody. Those girls that don't... All right. Stay, Stay away from those girls that don't normally get, give you a get, chance. Get, wait, yes. Get, get <laughs> blind. Season. Wait, here's what you do. You get the movie Blind, Motel, Clown Motel, and you will have a scariest night in the world. Good night, everybody. We got to go. go. We got to go. You Bye, guys. you guys. Thank you so you much. Happy Halloween. See you soon. Chat Happy room. Thank you, guys. Happy See you later. Hanukkah. Yeah, we in the mix. 
Yeah, we in the mix. It's another episode. Here we go. The Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. Interviewing the hottest news that you was up to today's celebrities. Make sure to subscribe so you can get notified weekly. Jimmy Star, he's the king of cool. Ron Russell, he's a gorgeous dude. Chat room is live and you would be a fool not to vibe with us at the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. Come and watch it live on W4CY Radio. Miss some past episodes? Download on iTunes. The Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. It's the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell. Russell.